guys, it's Pepsi Pop Up, and today I'm going to show you how to change uh, the volume changing sound. When you change your volume, it does this. I'm going to show you how to change that. Well, first of all, you need uh, uh, a, a dot uh, a dot a i f f file named volume. You can uh, convert it with uh, QuickTime Pro or iTunes to dot a i f f. Um, well, I'm going. I'm going to use um this file. No! called I called it um volume dot a i f f which it, and you need to name it like that okay so for when you have your dot uh, a i f f file you go to Macintosh HD you go to system you go to library and then you go down to just go down to login plugins you open that folder and then you go into bezel services you right click and you do show package contents and then you go into contents resources and then you see the volume dot AIFF it's that so now um after uh, you found that file, you j well, I strongly suggest you do uh, a backup of uh, that file. I'm just gonna drag it to my uh, to that folder, and I'm gonna go back, and then um, I'm just gonna go take my uh, do sound and drag it into the folder. Um, then you need to click authenticate, do replace, then you need to uh, put in your password and it's gonna be no! um, log out first. And uh, I'm just gonna log out now. Hey guys, so now I'm logged uh, back in. And uh, as you can see, when I change my volume, do, 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 do. Um, it does a do instead of the usual click sound. Um, to get back the click sound, you if you did a backup, if you didn't do a backup, you could try to find a file on the internet that you could download, but I'm not really sure you could. Um, yeah, you just take uh, the file that you had and put it back where it was, and it's gonna be the sound again. Thanks for watching.